what is life coaching? So I will say, so life coaching is like the execution to help you achieve and maximize the full potential of yourself, right? So it's instructing or um, coaching you on strategy tools and just manifesting it a skill and mindset before growth X, like just continue growth. Gotcha. Some people think life coaching or coaching is like therapy. What's the difference between those two? So the difference is, so I, I explain it like this. If life coaching is helping you excel, therapy for most people is to getting you to baseline. So there's a baseline we all function at. We get mm -hmm. up, we go to work, we have pretty decent lives. We, you know, there's some things about life we don't like. There's some things about life we do like, but we're getting through the day. And when you're getting life coaching, it's about excelling, right? I want to be this, or I desire to be this, or I desire to have that. It's about working from baseline and cultivating your wants and your desires with a specific framework, whichever coach you may be working with, right? When you think about therapy, most people who get to therapy are operating below the baseline. So they may not be getting up, right? It may take, everything they do takes a lot of effort. Um, they're losing interest in their daily activities or people. They may not be, sh they may not shower. They may go days without showering. They may stay in and they may isolate. And so a lot of the therapy emphasis is around creating or instructing people with behavioral, psycho social sort of um, education and <clears throat> practices to elevate them to baseline. So sometimes the difference is I am struggling and I understand I'm struggling and I know I need help and this is what I need help with, that's coaching. I'm struggling, I don't even know why I'm struggling. I can barely get up, right? I can barely understand anything mm -hmm. that is sort of like the therapy lens. Gotcha. Well, some people also think therapies uh, coaching, anything around that realm. Like, I have, I have a homeboy who, because I did therapy once, and he thinks it's a scam. Like, why are you going to talk to people? <laughs> yeah, so what are your thoughts on that when people say, oh, no, this is just a scam? I mean, you, and I, for people who say it's a scam, it's like, well, have you ever tried it? Mm -hmm. and, um, it? And if they say no, then ask why. And what I do for people who think either therapy or coaching is a scam is really emphasize something that they may not be happy with or struggling with in their lives and how just having the conversation sometimes from a sort of an unbiased person, educated person who has some ideas of how to really listen to you, right? Gives you this expression of freedom, gives you this understanding of yourself. And if, if I do one of the things they teach us when, you know, you're sort of going through my clinical practices, sometimes showing up for people and just allowing them to talk is more than you ever could do. Mm -hmm. Forget the, what you're about to teach them, the strategies, the tools, the stuff you're about to shift for them. If sometimes simply just showing up and listening is enough for people because there's no spaces that people have that cult, cultivate sort of this, what I'm heard and understood. And that within itself creates a level of awareness and healing for people that they don't necessarily have space for. So when, if someone says it's a scam, what is scamish about? Like, what is the scam? Is it that, what, you, you don't see the value in being heard? You don't see the value in being seen? Or you don't even recognize your struggles because you've adapted to that identity? That, yeah, or they're just old school and ignorant. Because uh, I, I spoke to older men before where they were like, Men don't go tell other people their problems in business. business, yeah. Yeah, definitely old school. Definitely a, a, a belief system we have to dismantle in the black community. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't know if I was one of those, but I was kind of like, I, I went for couples therapy, so I don't know if there's a difference between couples therapy and one-on-one. -on -one. Like, mm -hmm. it's the it's same. a little different. Okay, so, yeah, so. Yeah. And therapy, like couples can be more so about the, the relationship or addressing the relationship between the two people and um, therapy for one-to-one -one or coaching one-on-one -on -one is more about addressing the relationship you have with yourself and how that relationship influences or impacts or hinders you from cultivating everything else you want in your life. Gotcha. Well, I, <laughs> one of the person that did say it was a scam, uh, he got a lot of problems in his life that I think <laughs> he needs to get addressed, but he clearly thinks he got it under control, but you can see it coming out of him like, like people around him can notice it. Absolutely. Like, yeah.
And he's one of the people where he probably has so much distrust in people mm -hmm. because of his experience and probably some of his trauma that the idea of speaking to someone has never proved or served him in terms of a safety problem, right? It's never showed him that if I tell someone what's happening to me, they're not going to do anything about it. And from people who come from that experience, yeah, therapy seems like a scam or a problem. But when you understand that sometimes you have to speak and communicate about the problem that exists either within you or what you've experienced in order for you to really grow, heal from it, then you will see it as a different level of like just information, guidance, help, support. Like you can't do it on your own. If you knew how, you would be doing it. Gotcha. How important is it to have a, a life coach or just a coach in your life in general? in your opinion you know i think it's extremely important i think even for myself as a coach i still invest in coaching and for every new not even always new for every place that i want to go or cultivate growth in my life i seek out a coach um, because i while i practice identifying blind spots for others i don't always see my own i can tell someone what to do but it doesn't always apply to what i need to do for myself and so the, the coaching for people um, is about really, you know, getting away. There's a, I feel like there's an issue sometimes we have in our community where we take on this identity where struggle just becomes a part of who we are. And, any, and if we are struggling but still achieving, then we don't think there's nothing wrong with the struggle. And so part of coaching for me and a part of coaching that I do with clients is disconnecting this connection to struggling and just creating a life that they love on all areas without there being these complexities or this chaos or this drama that they have attached to or become familiar with in so many areas. And so when you think about coaching, it's around connecting or elevating people to that next step in their lives. And what does that mean and what does it look like and how do you need, if you showed up differently, what would that mean for you?